but it is not it for first person shooters. So we got to talk about Apex Legends. Yes, we like do. first of all, the way this game came out was insane. Who did they think they are, Beyonce? Now, I'm trying to tell you, like they dropped them. They, they, they dropped a the mixtape. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Video game. They dropped I like a mix that. Tape. And I was like, okay, okay. And then what kills me is in the first, I think it was the first day, they had eight million registered users. Like, are you serious? Like, really? Like, that's amazing. But you can tell that their, you know, their 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 analysts did did a good job. You know, saying, hey, you know what? We don't have to do this like this. We don't have to do this in a traditional way. Let's ping off of a humongous, a humongous event in, um, in, in culture. And we're going to bet our bottom dollar that there's going to be tremendous crossover for this, for us to get the word out. And we're going to use the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what Apex Legends did. They dropped their information or their first reveal or their first look at the game around that word got out. And every, I, I'm, I don't hardly know anybody that hasn't played it yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and for me personally, playing it, I liked it better than the Anthem demo already. Now, I will say this. The yeah. Anthem demo did get better. It definitely mm -hmm. did get better. But um, I liked it better already you know i thought they did a really good job of adding some personality into the whole battle royal concept didn't uh, we talk about that dude like yeah. not to cut you off but that's an excellent point man we said you know anthem has a generic feel and we talked about titanfall yeah what did they do they you talk about their analysts and them going back and reforging it they added a lot more personality and i know some people don't like the cartoony presentation of it no, i dig it but regardless it still has more character mm -hmm. it doesn't just look like you're playing with generic soldiers from soldier town yeah from soldier town. <laughs> they, this these look like people who no. have jobs and roles in this world what did you say what did you say your brother uh video said? the game yeah video the game <laughs> that's pretty funny that's pretty funny but it, it, it i i dig it man you know what i like the most about it what's that Here's something I never do. I never, ever, um, I never, ever, uh, like, play a training before I actually get into the game. Okay. Never. I never do that, right? I never do that. But I did that for this particular game. And when I did that, um, I actually fell in love with the, with the way, with the gunfire. Mm-hmm. The, I mean, that's respawn entertainment. That's some of the best in the game. Some I mean, of the best in the game, dude. The the shooting on this game is so dope. The design of the weapons themselves is so awesome that it's just like it's 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 really it, that's what made me fall in love with it from the beginning. Like it immediately made me want to get each of those guns in my hand so I could actually try them out. Yeah. You know? And so which I, is a I, big deal in a first person shooter. Yeah. That's my thing with that I always bring up Destiny is even though Destiny has had some very, very flawed um moments in their development, because the guns feel so good and it is a shooter and you're shooting all the time, it matters how good the guns feel. And that's my beef with Anthem is Anthem's not a shooter. It is an ability based game. Ability controls the outcome of what you're doing not just the shooting the shooting is what you do in between your ability cooldowns and so the fact that anthem i mean not anthem the fact that um a uh apex legends apex legends right the fact that apex legends has great shooting is a shooter and i think they're actually filling the space of the um battle royale thing in a good way because some people say oh no another battle royale battle royale is not my favorite form of gameplay I'm more of a straight multiplayer guy, just like shooting people in the face and calling it a day. But the teamwork aspect of it and having the abilities in there is not something that everybody else has. And I think it's important to push that genre forward, not just copy it. Yeah, I actually wish that um, that it did have at least a um a single a single like a, like a solos I, I mean like i like the team aspect it's cool 
Uh, but I wish that it did have solos because um, the, to me, that would just make it all the more diverse and layered. Uh, and, you know, because a lot of times we play, you know, you play Fortnite or whatever and you you play solos and then some people long for the duos aspect. Mm -hmm. Like, I really can't wait. Oh, I think it would be awesome if they added trios to Fortnite. I actually wrote up a whole way that they could do it and would make it would create a whole different battle royal experience than, than, than is out there for anyone. Right. But I, I would love to see solos added to the game. Now, there is one part of apex legends that kind of trips me out i don't know if this is something that they'll change moving forward but right about now it's kind of strange right um i have never seen any game that allows you to crawl as fast <laughs> during bleed out uh -huh. as apex legends i'm talking about dude you crawl so fast and 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 you are able or eligible to be revived for right. so long. And if you do die, you can be respawned at the station. So yes. but here's the thing about Apex Legends. Uh, now, I don't disagree with you with the solos thing, although I will say for me, I don't care about solos for the battle royale. Mm -hmm. What I would want is for them to put a team deathmatch in there. And it's similar to, I mean, a deathmatch, not team deathmatch, a single mm -hmm. player deathmatch. It's similar to Overwatch, where Overwatch, the game is designed around synergy of abilities and team play. Mm -hmm. It doesn't play the same in a solo aspect. And for that reason, Blizzard was afraid to put deathmatch in the game because they're like, it's not going to be balanced in any kind of way. We can't do that. We can't balance Reinhardt versus Tracer. It's just not. They're too yeah. different. In order to have character diversity, we have to give up the thing that makes Deathmatch work. The way they made it work is Deathmatch isn't about balance. It's about you pick the character that you're working on, and you use them in Team Deathmatch, and you get the results that you get, and that's that. So you can pick Widowmaker, who's a sniper, and go into Team Death and go into Deathmatch and snipe all day knowing that if Tracer runs up on you, it's hard, but you'll get so much better at Widowmaker from playing Deathmatch over and over that you're willing to take the cost. So I hope that they add Deathmatch for that reason. I have a question for you, though. A lot of people are complaining that this game replaces Titanfall 3. Mm -hmm. What's your take on that? And I have a take on it, but I wanted to get your opinion first. Well, one of the things is uh, EA had a disappointing third quarter of 2018 financially um they overestimated the success of battlefield 5 um and battlefield 5 basically by its lofty standards flopped because it sold about a million copies fewer than what they expected and what they projected so it caused actually for their shares to take a dip and stock prices to drop uh so they they, they struggled um, they are leaning heavily on the success of Apex Legends and of Anthem to kind of pick them back up here in the first quarter and then in the second quarter of 2019. So I think that canceling Titanfall 3 is, is probably a smart thing for them uh, because I, what, what is really being blamed for Battlefield's failure or failure to reach the expectations is that they went hard on a campaign over a battle royal because yeah. battle royal was hot. That's what everybody wants to that's, play. That's what they're saying. They're saying that they launched with single player instead of launching with battle royale, and they think that that hurt the game. They think that that hurt the game. So, uh, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, PUBG was a distant second from Fortnite, but it made one billion dollars in revenue in 2018. Yeah, you know, so. It, clearly, this is what we're talking about. It's the reason why, probably, why Call of Duty made the decision not to go with a campaign and to flesh out they Black. Did the out. opposite. Yeah, they did it the opposite. So it it ended up working for them. And then now you got Apex Legends coming, which is probably a pivot from the Titanfall standpoint. Because what probably happened was I, I don't know this for a fact, but I wouldn't be shocked if it did. Um, Titanfall 3 was originally planned and it was going to look a lot like Apex Legends, going to play a lot like it because it already does play a little bit like Apex Legends. Mm -hmm. But when they started to see what was happening, they pivoted and said, you know what? Let's just change everything. Let's go free to play. That's what I've heard that, yeah. that 
it's, it was something like that. Similar to the way Overwatch came out of the failed Project Titan, this came out of a failed or a change of course yes. with Titanfall 3. And you alluded to something that I think is important. Mm -hmm. You don't get to ask for Titanfall 3 when you didn't buy Titanfall 1 and 2. <laughs> yeah. Now, Titanfall 1 was released exclusively on the Xbox when nobody had an Xbox. That's an F on the developer's hands. But Titanfall 2, I don't know why people didn't buy it. I know why I, I didn't I know, buy it. I know, I know why they didn't buy it. It, came, didn't out, buy it? it came out at a horrible time. Okay, now it here's the thing, smothered. right? smothered, yeah. You, now, you say that. You say that. But they sold no copies of that game. They sold like 30 copies of that game. Nah. <laughs> Right, they, they, the same. I mean, they, but I'm they, saying they got about why. two basketball teams to right. buy that I'm, game. I'm saying no, but that's here, why. here's the thing: you're saying that that's why, and I want to get to that point. Battlefield Five was released in a bad window, and had terrible press, both because of the controversial political, you know, aspect of their first trailer, and the way the developers responded to it. And it still sold seven million copies more than 7 million copies. And it was released in a historically great window. You're talking about Red Dead, Spider-Man, God Black of War, Call of Duty, rough, right? Well, well, God of War was way earlier, but yeah, people were still buying it. Yeah. To be, right. So and the NBA 2K should be mentioned, right? It's Absolutely. still around that time. It's still taking people's dollars up and Destiny Forsaken. So you, you look at all of that, 7 million copies for a bad window compared to, I don't know what the exact numbers for Titanfall 2 were, but they were dismal. So when the numbers are that bad, you don't lose out on 5, 10, 15 million copies if you were going to sell 5, 10, 15 million copies because of your window. You missing out because people don't, they're not into the franchise. This franchise never established a base. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if the franchise never establishes a base, it's not the window, it's the fact that they have to find an audience. And so how can you blame the developers for doing what they think, well, they need to do to find the audience? Now, you go a year from now, if they make a single player Titanfall, it'll probably do much better because of the 8 million some odd people playing what everybody admits is a very, very good Battle Royale game. Yeah, I mean, was Titanfall sold 4 million copies. Um, but here's the problem. Uh, it can't escape being compared to Battlefield 1, and Battlefield 1 sold 15 million copies. So, yeah, that's that's not... Did that's Titanfall not, sold 4 million copies? Titanfall 2 sold 4 million copies, mm -hmm. which is for, a, you know, if we're talking about a humongous studio, like we're talking about a humongous publisher, 40 million copies is probably not... Good. I mean, put, it, put, it, put this into perspective, right? Now, I understand one of them is free to play and one of them isn't. But Titanfall 2 had sold 4 million copies. Apex Legends had 8 million registered users in a day. Yeah, that's crazy. So, and, and keep in mind, those 4 million copies, I would love to know how much of those were at the launch window and how much of those came since the game's been for $6 for the past two years. Well, this, this, th those numbers was, were as of January of 2017. So When did it come out? Uh, I, the late 2016, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it it was it's largely viewed as not successful. So no, because it was it had it had no audience. Yeah, um, and it, and it, the, the bad thing about it is it was a great game. It no, every cool. everybody says it's a great game. That's the it funny was, thing. It was but, it was here, my favorite. It was my favorite shooter of that year. Dude, dude, all of the coverage says it's a great game. Yeah. Uh, I think its flaw, honestly, was that it lacked character, and they added character, so they agree with me. Because mm -hmm. they didn't just make it a battle royale of Titanfall and take out the robots. It looks like a different property. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah Which I think sure. is a good thing for them. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I I I I'm really intrigued by it. I really dig it. Um, and so I'm looking forward to, to continue to play it. I think one good test too was I let Junior play, and I usually don't let Junior Junior is only really allowed to play game and uh, play games on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, right? Mm -hmm. And so he needs to concentrate. But I let him play. <laughs> Because you, you're just, just trying dropped. to keep him from beating you up in uh, UFC and injustice. I see what you're doing. Well, UFC, he needs plenty of practice to be. I'm, <laughs> kind, of, I'm kind of nasty in that, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I let him play because it just dropped, and you know, the dude is like the dude's is my friend too, on top of being my son. So you know, yeah. sometimes we got to talk. So I let him play, and like he didn't want to put it down, and that's 
Yeah. I mean, he's a big time battle royal guy and a big time shooter, shooter fan. Yeah. He really gets super technical with the way um weapons feel in mm -hmm. games. And he's able to express like why something's not what it should be very well, mm -hmm. really good, you know. So he I, it was really cool just listening to his take as he yeah. played. 